everyone. Today, in the form of Lunch and Learn, uh, we would like to talk about Grant. Uh, today is April 5th, uh, 2023, and uh, in this presentation, I will be going over Grant, uh, and we will be talking about how you can choose your material in a more efficient way and smartly select the material for your application. So, um, we have a picture of a pizza and a picture of the um, grant application, as you can see. Um, a good pizza can be made with uh, fine ingredients, a good process of the cooking, and you, 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 will have, you will have a great pizza. So, the finer and the better the ingredients are, um, the better your pizza can be. It's just like the components that you're designing, the system that you're designing, the better <clears throat> the materials are in your system, the better response you can get from your design. <clears throat> so it's all about the ingredients. Now, there are um, different parts throughout the entire product development system that material selection can help. Um, if you have, let's say, a failure in your uh, design, then uh, one of the areas that potentially you can improve is um, changing your material. So uh, if, you change, uh, if you change your material to a steeper material, let's say, then it can potentially help with the failure. Or sometimes the cost is high, and when you are looking at the cost per unit volume, then um, changing the material could, could help a lot with reducing your cost. There are some scenarios that um, your, your, your company or, or uh, for some reason you decide to have some initiatives like uh, using more recyclable uh, material um, or using some material that uh, is sustainably sourced, then um, material selection can help in those areas as well. On top of that, there are some new products. Um, especially when we're developing a new product, uh, we never know what will be the response of our system. So choosing material wisely is a crucial part of the product development for our new component. And obviously, you can always develop your own material. So what or who is ANSYS Granta? So, ANSYS Granta Selector provides powerful tools and extensive material selection database for intelligent decision making. Um, trusted by engineers and material experts, you can rapidly find the best materials for any application, then directly export materials uh, property data. So, um, Granta has two sides to it. One side to that, uh, one side to this product is the database that it has. So, we provide over 4,000 uh, material from different sources, uh, that the, all the sources for each material is also provided um, in, the, in, the, in the tool as well. And then the second part is it's, it's a tool that can help you grant a selector, uh, it's to be more specific, it's a tool that can help you set up uh, and, and select your material um, intelligently. So one of the keyword uh, uh, of this paragraph will be in intelligent decision making for selecting your uh, your material. Um, uh, Granta comes in different shapes and forms, um, and the the first part is Granta MDS Material Database. Um, it has a bunch of data for. Uh, steel, polymers, uh, some liquid and gas and composite material. Um, and it's focused more on the data set to support simula simulation analysts, designers. Uh, so if you are a designer also, um, you can choose this, uh, data, you can use this database to choose your material to apply to your components. And you can easily apply to any design tool that you're using. Um, Granta MDS, the material database for Granta pretty much supports all the uh, CAD tools as well. Um, and then we have Granta Selector. <laughs> so uh, Granta Selector um, helps you to work within Granta Material Database to uh, navigate intelligently and, and make, make a smart decision for selecting your material. On top of that, you can add uh, your own material database to Granta 
uh, database, and you can compare where your own material is standing in between all the others. Um, with Granta Selector and MDS, you would have some limitations in terms of adding your own material uh, to the product, but that capability exists. Uh, and then we have some advanced material data based on um, the application and, and, in, and in the industry. So, for example, there are some specific material in, in aerospace industry that has been used, and uh, that is the advanced material database that we also provide that. And um, <coughs> Granta MI Pro and MI Enterprise, or the MI line essentially, is, is a tool that is customized to customers' need. So uh, if any customer is uh, looking for managing their database better, um, adding a number of different materials, um, have a fast start out of box materials, information management solution for design and simulation, um, and they want to uh, have more details essentially in their database, they can go with uh, Grants MI Pro. And there are some specific capabilities like um, traceability of tests. Uh, let's say you have tested your material and uh, you wanted to verify that with an experimental and you want to, let's say, log the date and the time and who tested it and, and define some accessibility level uh, to different parts of your organization. So you want certain people to have access to certain material and all that, all of that stuff um, is customizable, is available with Grant MI Enterprise. So um, as you can see, it's a wide range of um, help for uh, material database and selection. And, and obviously management with the MI. So, um, so essentially in terms of tools to manage our database, we have two tools. One is uh, Granta Selector and the other one is MI. So uh, with Granta Selector, essentially every engineer in a company can use that. So it doesn't matter if you're an analyst or if you're a designer, uh, you can you can take advantage of grant a selector and still um, and still uh, choose your material wisely. And um, use case, as you can see, for selector is identify optimal material. Are you using the best material? What other options are there? How would you compare price wise? Um, you you have all those all those options. Uh, on the other hand. Um, with MI, it's it's more like an enterprise um, tool that uh, helps you to have more detail, as as we talked in the previous slide, uh, through your uh, material selection and management. Uh, it's more than a selection; it's for the most part the management part of it uh, will will play a big role in MI. And with MI, pretty much you have um, unlimited number of material you can uh, plug in if 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 you are developing your materials uh, in your company and you have a lot of them, it's pretty much unlimited uh, that you can um, log in to, to MI. Uh, with Selector, uh, you will have a limited number of materials that you can log in. That's one of the limitations of the Selector. And also with MI, it is fully customizable. Um, you can, uh, we can customize it for our customers based on their need, based on their organizational chart, and who wants to access, have access to what, and, and what's their product development process, essentially. So in terms of supporting other tools, as I mentioned before, um, this um, Granta is not only targeting analysts, but it is targeting essentially any engineers um, or any, any person who is a part of product development system. So whether you are a designer, an analyst, or even a, an, or even a manufacturing engineer, um, there are different products that you can um, export your material database for. So there are different CAD tools. There are different um, analysis tools that you can export your material for. So you can simply right-click on your uh, desired material. In this case, I would just right-click on AISIS7. Uh, which is a tool steal, and then I said export, and you can export the material and bring it to, if you have a CAD tool or any other analysis tool, you can bring it there. 
where does this material data coming from? Uh, one of the questions that we that, that people often ask us is, how can we trust the database that you have in your uh, grandson database? Uh, so I, I try to reference that. So one of the things that we can see here is, so if I select the same AISI S7, I see that for young modulus, uh, there, there is actually a two number. Uh, it's, it's not a one number. Um, for for my young modulus. So in this case, uh, the unit is VSI. By the way, you can change the unit to a metric system um, or or any any other um, unit system that you want. Um, and even the currency, there are different currencies that we support here. And um, the minimum and there, there is a minimum and the maximum. So what we would do is uh, we will review the references for that specific material. As you can see, the references for this specific material is provided here. After carefully reviewing all of that, then the minimum number of all these um, references will be provided here, and the maximum number of all these um, references will be provided as the mean and max for the young modulus. Same goes with this with a specific stiffness. Same goes with yield strength, tensile strength, specific strength. So. It's not necessarily a fixed number. It's a mean and max between all these references that, that, that we're providing here. So from um, ASM International all the way to ASM Engineer Material Reference Book to, um, to general metal references, uh, so there are different references that we review before we actually provide the mean and max for our, uh, let's say, young modulus here. And when you export, this is, uh, this is an important point, so then the question is, okay, if I export my material data for S7, what value will be exported for my CAD tool or for my analysis tool? Then that value will be the mean value of the mean and max. So uh, when you are running a simulation or you're designing, you should know that uh, the mean value uh, of, these, of these mean and max will be exported. <coughs> And then we have also some graphs and some actual test values for uh, for each uh, for each material. Uh, the test value the test value for every single uh, mechanical properties or electrical properties uh, is not necessarily available, but we have a very wide range of um, test data that we provide. And underneath the chart uh, for each test data, you can see there is a note. Uh, that it says uh, interpolated between what, uh, like 20 Celsius here and then 200 Celsius here. And also the reference for that is also included high temperature property data, first alloy. Um, you can see the editor and, and what date and, and so on and so forth. So um, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it is backed up the data here with uh, reliable resources. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my grant uh, to go through uh, some of these uh, some of these um, that that we talked about uh, and and go through material selection essentially from the beginning to the end and see how things can work here.